Hello and welcome to Storytime with Nada. And welcome from Bo and Donna. And today's story is all about the sounds of fall. Shh, listen. What do you hear? Is it the sound of the wind rushing through the branches filled with colorful leaves of orange, yellow, red or brown? Shh. Is it the gentle fall of those leaves when touching the ground already filled with others that came before? Is it the sound of me walking on this carpet of freshly fallen orange, red, yellow and brown leaves? rustling and crackling along the way. Can you hear it? Lost in his thoughts, Bo is fully enjoying it all the way. It's music to his ears as the melody expanding and forming within his heart. Can you hear it? Can you feel what he is feeling? Bo, Bo, come here. There are tons of chestnuts spread all over the ground, yells Donna. Let's pick some and bring them home for Nana to roast them on the stove tonight. There are hundreds of shiny brown shelled chestnuts glistening in the afternoon sun, right next to the prickly brownish shells from which they sprung as they grew too big for their encasement. Have you seen those? Look, Donna, look, there is a mushroom literally growing from the carpet of the fallen leaves. It's calling your name. Shall we pick it and take home for a delightful dinner for us all? Do you think this is the one that, we, that is safe for us to eat, says Bo. Well, let's pick it and let Nana decide, exclaims Donna. I know that there are mushrooms that we can eat and there are those that were poisonous that are poisonous too but I can't make up which is which says Donna their bags were full of wild and special treasures of today's straw in the forest they could barely lift them up so they created a carrying pole have you ever seen one hmm. there was a strong broken off branch on the ground which they picked up, hung their bags upon it, while each one held on to one of the ends. This worked and was much easier for them to carry. Can you see that? Hmm. Tired from hiking all day long and carrying the heavy load of their treasures, silently they marched along. The sound of the forest in the fall setting filled Bo's heart and he made music of it. Whistling the tone it created, he and Donna marched along. Hi-ho, 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 hi-ho. Donna started singing and her voice echoed through the woods. Birds joined in as bunny rabbits jumped along while the shy fox carefully weaved his orange bushy tail between the bushes and the shrubs, keeping its distance just in case. Have you seen a fox yet? Bo and Donna were safe in their world and so were the animals that lived around them too. There was harmony of life in the fall country setting and all was well. What does fall look like in your world? Do you have any animals to share it with? Let me know.